Welcome to the Beyond Bitcoin Welter. Be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steven, as well as our Hangout host official Fuzzy for the latest World Tank updates. To participate in the discussion, simply find a weekly World Tank RSVP post and RSVP with a topic or proposal in the comments. Whale shares create synergy between BitShares and Steam, by rewarding developers and helpful community members. The Whale Tank has already distributed over $70,000 in upvotes during its first month. You can also create and trade your own cryptographically secure Whale tokens and get an automatic seat in the Whale Council. Whale shares work for the chain based on votes by the community. If you're interested in becoming a founding member of the Whale Council, let us know by sending an email to beyondbitcoin at gmail.com with the subject Whale Council. Be on the lookout for our new forums coming soon. Welcome everyone to another Beyond Bitcoin Whale Tank. Today is Saturday, September 9th, 2017, and this is episode 223. And we're joined every week in this Whale Tank by a group of people who are interested in bringing value to the cryptocurrency space and have disruptive projects that they would like to bring to the center stage and show individuals in our community and myself what they're doing and also potentially earn large stake in something that I call the Whale Shares Project. And these are tokens that you can use to upvote your content on Steemit and Golos and potentially other Steam platforms or based on the Mutual Aid Society concept created by Dan Larimer. We enable people to join up and earn tokens trying to turn media on its head. Instead of paying people, for advertising and content coverage. You can join the Whale Tanks every Saturday with your project and potentially get paid by Fuzzy and any other whale that joins up with their own whale tokens. If you have a whale friend who would like to help with these different projects, consider letting them know about the potential for them making their own whale token to support your project and those that join here. Now with that said, there are a few rules to the Whale Tank and if you have tokens, you can kind of power yourself up to take down some of those barriers that are applied. So we have a slight bias, so to speak, towards people who are creating their own tokens in the space because we believe that it is important for individuals to relearn the value that they themselves can carry into this world and what they represent. And the tokens that we use to quantify that value are currently a small subset that we're allowed to use. But now that you're able to create your own tokens as a person with unique value and unique ideas that you can bring to the world, you can imbue those tokens with value propositions. And if you are willing to take an exercise in attempting to do so, I would like to reward you for joining up and telling about your journey. So with that said, if you have a token, you get different power-ups during these hangouts. The first one is, that when you RSVP to the Whale Tank thread with your project every week, we take the number of upvotes in terms of how much that post has made, and we establish the order of coverage by who has the highest to the one who has the lowest number of upvotes, or voting power behind their post. And the reason why we do this is to ins ensure that you have a reason to reach out to people who trust you and to show people who have a lot of stake in the ecosystem that you bring value to the equation. And we want you to bring them on to upvote you because that helps us to establish the most trustworthy and well-known. The people who join every week, the people who join frequently, give updates, do valuable things, will tend over time to have more trust in the ecosystem and therefore higher upvotes. Now, the one way that you can kind of cheat with your own token is that if you post a link to your own token trading on the BitShares DEX in the Whale Tank Hangout RSVP thread, in your reply, I will actually double the number of voting power with respect to the order in the list. So if you have $2 worth of upvotes and you're in third place, and first place has $3 worth of upvotes, but first and second place do not have tokens that are trading on the BitShares DEX or do have tokens that are trading on the BitShares DEX but do not provide the link, we will actually double yours and make you first in slot with $4. So that is one power-up. Number two power-up is you each have 15 minutes for your project and to discuss your project. So this is a, a very limited period of time. 
but some some of you may only need 15 minutes. However, if you feel like the community is going to be very appreciative and interested in what you're doing, and you think that maybe they want to ask some more questions or 15 minutes for some reason just isn't enough, you can leverage your tokens to share drop on the guests at this hangout. And if you do so, you can buy up to 10 minutes of extra time, up to a total max of 25 minutes for your segment. In addition, at the end of every hangout, I choose one project of the week that is going to earn a thousand Beyond Bits from my account, which is worth a bunch of little upvotes that will help you get seen and upvoted by others in the community, and also will pay you a healthy little bit of money in addition to everything else. So if you want to, if you feel during the, this week that I chose somebody inappropriately and that you would like to leverage your tokens to try to give me a value proposition that is better than giving them away, and I actually like your project, it's very important that I like your project, but if I do, you can potentially steal it from another person. Now with that said, everybody who joins these Hangouts and guest speaks will get paid based on how many dollars we've received on our posts. So this week's Beyond Bitcoin Whale Tank post is at $160. So I will be giving 160 Beyond Bits out to the people who have joined this Hangout. So with that said, consider trying to get other people to upvote to increase the pool that you will earn from. And now with that said, I want to thank everybody who's joined up this week. We have a nice little list of individuals. Today it's going to be Chris Aiki for Solar Coach. Next is going to be Ride of Passion of Voice Shares, followed by Progressive Chef of Steam It Iron Chef. And then we're going to have Forrest Willie of Purity, followed by the Marky Mark of Build a Whale. And then we're going to have Nutella, who's going to talk about Descent Updates. And Chief Mapster, who's going to be talking about points, is going to cap off this session. So what I'll go ahead and I'll do is I'll say Krasowki to step up, and I will step back, and I will just ask that you give a quick introduction, maybe a couple minutes, talking about yourself, how you got into crypto, you know, your little story here that led you to today, what you're doing with your project and then try to maybe get a couple minutes in toward the end for anybody who has any questions. Okay, thank you. So who am I? I'm French, as you can uh, hear it. I have been involved with solar energy and I have developed a company to develop solar carport. We have been working with the French Institute of uh, Solar Energy to install this carport in the French Alps where I'm living. I'm living uh, 35 kilometers far from Geneva. I'm also interested in uh, finance and uh, cryptocurrency. I uh, found uh, the Steemit website last year, and I've been a Steemit member since uh, one year. And I was looking for solutions to finance solar projects with uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, this is how the Solar Coach pro project emerged. So the Solar Coach project in uh, three main point it's uh, simple it's profitable and it's good for the environment what we were looking for is a solutions for people who are living in a city to invest into solar projects 80 percent of the worldwide population is living in cities they do not they do not have a roof to put solar on the top of their house so i uh, issue Bitcoin user token called topsol and if you are living in a city and you want to invest in solar energy, you only have to buy topsoil on the BitShare DEX. It's very easy. The second point is that uh, it will be profitable because, well, why a crypto uh, did raise? You have discussed that uh, during the previous BitShare on Boot. For example, Bitcoin have raised because people want to decentralize the coin and they want uh, a secure coin. So if more and more people are buying Bitcoins and the token is raising. I think the future of energy will be decentralized solar energy. So as more and more people will use solar energy, if they choose our solutions, they will buy topsoil. So the price of topsoil will, will raise. And also with the money from topsoil, we will build solar farms. 
and we will reinvest the profit of the company to raise the price of Topsol. We will help our customers to pay a part of their electricity bill. And the third point of the project that is good for the environment, because fossil fuel is polluting the air of large cities, provoking thousands of premature deaths. Burning fossil fuels raise greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, accelerating climate change, rising up temperature, making hurricanes more powerful and destructive. So I'm a promoter of solar energy because it's stable. You know every year how much solar energy you are going to produce. It's abundant, it's decentralized. We can use solar energy to provide 35% of our needs every year. It's a welcome technology with very few risk, and it's the best way today to produce electricity. So I have created this token so that everybody can invest very easily into solar energy. So this is a short, uh, short presentation, and if you have questions, you are welcome to ask questions. I do have questions. Does anybody have any questions or comments before I move forward, however? Yeah, I wanted to ask if this is US-based or international, as far as what the funding is for. This is international. I'm located in France. And do you have an estimate on the returns to investors about and a schedule? Today, I will not give precise data because, you know, with uh, crypto, it's very difficult. Nobody knows what will be the price of Bitcoin in uh, three months or the price of uh, BitShare in three months. So it will be very difficult to know what will be the price of Topsoil in the future. Would customers would be paying in their local currency? Is that correct? Customers will go on the BitShare DEX, buy Topsoil with any, uh, any currency, fiat or crypto. So it's any different crypto can be used, you just have to get it into BitShares, convert it to BitShares, or something that's on the BitShares DEX and trade it for that. Right. I just wanted to make the distinction between the investors of this effort versus the customers of the solar farms. Yeah, so the, is it fair to say the customers of the solar farms are local, but the investors can be from everywhere? No, both customers and investors can be from everywhere. So if you are a customer in Spain, and we build a solar farm in the US, the customers will send his electricity bill and we will pay a part of his bill. Oh, I see how it works. Does that answer your question, Talkinator? No, I'm sorry, that didn't. In the case of, let's say, a Spanish customer, they are, as I understand it, they would be paying for these. They are receiving electricity through a regular electrical grid. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So those customers would be paying their electrical provider. And I guess my question is, how would they pay their electrical provider? Well, they will pay their electrical provider uh, with local currency, of course. But okay. uh, they will send us a copy of their bill and we Solar Coach will pay a part of their bill. And that'll be and that part is determined on, I'm assuming, the amount that you earn. There are several ways for incomes. The first way is that uh, I hope many people will buy Topsol. So we will get bit shares, we will get BTS from uh, the selling of Topsol on the bit share index. Then we will build solar farms, and the solar farms will produce electricity, and we will sell solar electricity to utilities. It's a second source of incomes. So this is why it's very difficult today to give data about uh, profit profitability because it's difficult to know how many people will buy Topsol on that which price. Okay. Feel free if you have questions, Taco. I, I can ask questions all day. So then if I understand correctly, the, the um, um, customer who is theoretically, if I understand your point, if I understand what you're proposing correctly, the customer, let's say in Spain, who is paying their electrical provider, that provider, is it expected that that provider is also obtaining some of its electricity from a topsoil farm, or is that not required? It's not required because we will not be able to build a solar farm in the whole world uh, in the first years, of course. So in the first year, let's take the example, we build solar farms in the uh, United States. We will sell electricity in the United States, and we will use the incomes of the sales of the, of the electricity to help customers to pay their bill in their own country. That makes sense, I see. 
So will you pay them back in topsoil coins? There are two distinctive flows. The first flow is a classic flow for a, a, a cryptocurrency. You can buy and sell topsoil anytime on the DEX uh, exchange. And the second flow is the flow of electricity. So Solar Coach is producing and selling electricity. And with this sale in dollars or in euro, we can help our customers to pay a part of their bill. Okay, so you actually will take the earnings from the solar farm and you will actually take the earnings and you will put it, a percentage of it toward their bill. Now, how do you determine what percentage you put toward their bill? Uh, I don't know today. I cannot uh, give an answer today. Okay, it's, it's just an interesting concept to me, so I, asked, I wanted to ask a couple questions regarding that too. Can you tell us at this point in time how many tokens there are going to be, how many there are right now? So I uh, issued 1 million tokens. The maximum tokens to be issued is uh, 500 million. You can buy tokens for one BTS today and uh, the price will rise. The, we are in pre-launch period and the ICO will start in October 1st. And in October 1st, I will set up the price for $1 for one top sold. Okay, and you have 1 million that are currently issued, so that's how many are circulating. But I'm assuming, it, it, would it be fair to say that you don't know how many are going to come onto the market and how new ones are going to be issued quite yet? Right, I don't know. Yeah, I would love to. I, I think that it's a, always a cool idea to support things like this, but I would definitely would personally want to know a little bit more as far as the details. Um, because oftentimes when people want to buy some, are going to buy something, they kind of want to know what the value proposition is, or if it's just going to be kind of like um, a, a coin that they expect to make no money out of, and they just are buying it to support something. Uh, generally, they will want to know which of the two it is, right? Now, I'm not saying either one of them is bad, but I will say that that's, that's kind of a very important thing to have. But I will say it's it's a very interesting project. Does anybody have any final questions? We we have just a couple seconds here left in the 15 minutes. Yeah, I think this is an interesting idea. And I think I would like to, if possible, and when appropriate, to see more details. Okay. Did you read the executive summary? There is a link in the reply of the RSVP. Yes. I, I mean, I'm currently reviewing the PDF. Is that correct? Yes. The Solar Coach white paper. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the 15 minute mark and I hate to do this, but you are at a point right now in this hangout where you can take extra time if up to 10 minutes if you want to distribute some of your tokens to the people who will sign the guest list at this hangout. If you're interested in doing so, please let me know now. And if not, please just let me know and let everybody know how they can contact you. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. If you can send me the list of participants, I can uh, send them uh, 10 tops all each. Okay, well then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add 10 more minutes on for this right now because I think that there is some interest in it. Yeah, I would say that one of the most important things would be to establish, you know, there, there are a couple questions that I have, for instance, like how long will the solar panels, what is the life cycle on them, how much does it cost to repair them if they can be repaired, how much is expected to be earned from them, if that expectation generally has you know a variation you know a variance where sometimes it's like plus or minus you know it's this much electricity plus or minus you know x and kind of understand what the prices for the energy are and and kind of getting that those basic little things laid out and i think that that's an extremely extremely important aspect to have laid out before you really start asking for funds too uh, and it's not that i'm i'm not saying you know what what i say might be bs you know the market might love it and do it but i will say personally if we have like a bunch of have all the numbers and you come on here and you talk about that and you have those numbers laid out you know as far as the costs or projected costs rather projected income and how that income is going to be utilized, you know, and how it's going to be utilized to make value, to bring value to the tokens. Those are all some very vital things in my opinion. And, and I think that you can make a decent bit of funding off of a project like this because there are other projects in the space that 
that are getting a lot of funding for solar type stuff. But with that said, they all have, you know, those numbers laid out. Now, I, I like the idea overall. It's a great idea. And I, I like the partnerships with the different, I mean, the, it's not necessarily a partnership, I guess. You're, you're selling the electricity. So that's, you know, maybe it's a partnership. It depends on really, I guess, how the infrastructure works wherever you are. But, and I'm not an expert on this, but I will say that the fact that I can get my part of my electricity bill paid from, you know, from leveraging a solar farm that might be half a world away is definitely a really cool idea, man. Thank <laughs> like, you. That's, that's to me, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a very good one because let's face it, geography is a imp very important thing. Like there are whole deserts out there that you might be able to fill with these and pay big people's bills, you know, and those deserts otherwise might not be used for very much. Yes, I can give some details about solar energy, but I, I, I thought everybody was knowing that. So the panels are working for 20 years. The maintenance on the solar farm is usually something like 1% of the cost of the solar farms are used for maintenance. And the ROI on solar farm are uh, usually around 5 to 8%. What is 5 to 8%? ROI, oh, return, the ROI, return. the return on investment, gotcha. Okay, and it's only 1% for the upkeep. For the maintenance, yes. And that's pretty, is that considered like kind of an industry standard? Yes, those are industry standards. You can find those numbers on, on Wikipedia or on any uh, data about solar energy. Uh, I wanted to ask, so are you going to buy solar panels for people who are going to catch the sunlight or? We are going to delegate the building of the solar farms. We are not going to build them ourselves. Okay, so it's not that private uh, persons or a private property, but it's more a solar farm, not, not people uh, with a roof. There are already many actors on the market to build solar farms, which are called developers. And I think it's more interesting to look at the market and to, uh, to ask for a quote to build a solar farm. The, rather than to develop a team, to develop teams in different countries will request a lot of uh, administrative costs. So the solar farms, are those like on a field or are those individual houses? No, they are on fields. Okay, thanks. Does anybody else have any questions, comments? Yeah, I wanted to ask, when you were talking a little bit ago about the customers, how does one become the customer that actually has part of the electricity bill being paid for them? not just as an investor in the solar farms themselves, but how do you become a customer that actually has your power bill paid? You become a customer by buying Topsol on BitShare. Okay, so you buy Topsol on the BitShares and then you get your electricity bill paid when you when you send it. Not the whole electricity bill, it, it will depend on uh, how much Topsol you own. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. So if I understand correctly, um, in this example, if, for example, I might pay my local electrical provider maybe $100 per month, and if I have a certain amount of Topsol tokens, I could then send to the Topsol company my electricity bill and the number of tokens that I have, and then I might, if I understand correctly, then the Topsol company would pay me a proportion of their revenue for that month. And I, so I might receive perhaps, depending on the revenue of Topsol and the amount of shares that I have, I might receive that month maybe $25, hypothetically. Yes, that's right, except that there is a, another factor is the quantity of solar farms that we will build. So the first years, we will not pay anything because we will build solar farms. Then depending on the, your electricity bill, the number of topsoil you own on the quantity of electricity we will sell, we will pay you part of your bill. Sounds good. And that payment would come directly to me as a topsoil token holder. Is that correct? You will choose a top soul, some more topsoil or USD bit, for example, bit USD. Sure, right. The, you're, okay, that makes sense. The form of payment I can select. Thank you for the yeah. answer. You see, uh, one question that I have that kind of piggybacks off of what Talkinator is saying is, if you have a token 
let's say I have enough tokens that I should be able to pay for a thousand dollars of electricity, but I only really use like fifty dollars a month or sixty dollars a month, then is it kind of like a bad idea and intentionally a bad idea for me or people like me to buy more tokens than I, I technically need? No, of course, it's a good idea because, for example, today you can buy uh, one top sol for one BTS and uh, starting uh, October 1st, you can sell uh, one top sol for one uh, BTUSD. Oh, I see. So you're saying, so that's the benefit of buying in early too, which is another uh, question I was going to have because if you're having to wait for, say, a year, it, it makes sense. Now, have you done the calcs to, to say, okay, this is exactly how much we'll need to be able to make sure that this token is averaging around this amount of production of energy and it's, you know, it's going to be around a dollar or is it just kind of... The calcs is made on the fact that uh, in five years, one top sol will be the price of one megawatt hour. One megawatt hour is uh, 1,000 kilowatt hour. So one megawatt hour will be a, about 100 to 300 dollars, depending on the country where you are living. So I have a scale, raise the price from uh, one BTS today to uh, 100 dollars in five years. And you are confident that the numbers will back that up, is what you're saying? <laughs> of course, if you, if you start a project, and if you are not confident in your project, it's better to stop uh, immediately. Oh, definitely. It's just, it's some people, you know, you, you have varying levels of, some people are very new to this, right? Maybe you, you obviously seem like that you're, like you're looking into a lot of that stuff. And I haven't read through the P, the PDF totally yet. I've just skimmed over it, but I will say that it looks like it's a cool project. And I, I would love right now, if we can go ahead and give everybody the opportunity to know how to contact you if they would like to learn a little bit more maybe talk to you behind the scenes can you go ahead and let everybody know how to do so okay you can see my mail okay then it is canopy at free dot fr which is c-a-n-n -N, as in nancy e-c-y at f-r-e-e -E dot f-r and it was very nice talking to you it's good it's good to see new projects joining up and I hope that you enjoy the Beyond Bits that you receive and a, a little bit of extra coverage that they give you. Yes, I enjoy it very much. And thank you very much, everybody, for your attention. Well, I will use this opportunity to thank everybody else who's joined to this Hangout today. This is the Beyond Bitcoin Whale Tank for those who are listening after the fact. I will also say that for those of you who are here the more upvotes we receive on our Hangouts, the more I can give out in Beyond Bits to the people who join up. So I try to create a virtuous cycle in everything I do where we can create more value and empower each other in a way that doesn't just look at money as the, the only quantifying aspect of the value proposition. There are many other ways that we can measure and and empower that value to come out. And one of the ways is through synergy. So that's what this is all for. So please remember that in these Hangouts, there are very few other places in crypto that are anything like this place. And what we do every week is something that is done nowhere else in crypto. So I really want to say thank you to those of you who help this along and those who do share these Hangouts and make sure to share them Make sure to upvote them and do everything you can to promote those people who join up and are brave enough to get into the gladiator ring because they are the ones who are going to create more value for this space and help us to create an entire new economy that will act as a safety net when the other one probably does what we think it's going to do. Uh, now, with that said, thank you everybody for joining up and I'm going to have to stop talking and move on to another person here who is an important member of our community who has a project called voice shares and this is ride of passion ride of passion are you available to speak about your project yes fuzzy uh can i start yeah if you could please give like maybe a, um just like a minute intro for anybody who has not heard you or been listening to these hangouts before 
and then go into any updates you have, man. I'll go ahead and start your 15 minutes now. Uh, guys, uh, thanks a lot for having me here today. Today I'll be speaking about voice shares. For those of you who don't know what voice shares is, it's a platform for uh, telling out your untold stories to create a support system for yourself and be that part of uh, the community which can save lives in the society. And how do you want to get involved with the voices? I'll coming. I'll be coming out with it in a, in the later part of the talk. And uh, what what is the present update of voice shares? Is see, voice shares was basically started with an aim to create the support system for the depressed souls. And uh, we wanted to increase the scope of the voice shares to the to all the issues that is concerning the society. So voice shares evolved itself as a project which will address almost all the issues that the world is facing, starting off with the mental health issues. So we started depression series. Uh, for example, you're suffering from depression. Come out, tell, tell your stories. You don't have to reveal your identity. Tell your stories to the world. People who connect with your story, connect with your post and then get in touch with you. So you're no longer alone. So whatever fight you are there, you're fighting there alone. It's not you alone. We are there with you. So that is the kind of uh, concept that Voice Shares is driving with. And the second thing is what makes Voice Shares a money-making model. Because whenever I go pitch my ideas to any whales, they don't even listen for five minutes of what voice shares is. Because VCs are such that they immediately ask me what the business model is. Well, today I'll be revealing the business model of voice shares, how voice shares does uh, plan to make money and help the society at the same time, which is a tricky combination. And uh, the third thing is we will have voice shares announcements every week from now, starting now. We'll have three major announcements coming up. The immediate amount announcements would be a website a website of voice shares that is going to come up. I had a series of health issues, so I couldn't come out with it this week itself, that which was the plan. But next week, Mail Tank, we will be out with our uh, voice shares website. And uh, voice shares always believed in synergy, wherein uh, from the day one, we started creating our own uh, collaborations with uh, the projects from Whale Tank community. And uh, it's been a very, very good ride uh, because I met some amazing people like uh, Team Epic, uh, then Crypto EP is here. I met uh, Fuzzy is always there and then Steam PH. So it's been a, a nice collaboration and we have been having a, our own hangouts as well wherein we all can progress together uh, at the same time. And uh, we created our own value propositions for Steamit. But yes, uh, we no longer look at Steamit as our only place to be. It is going to be our own chain that we aim to do and that is what we are working for right now. And uh, the first announcement would be Voice Shares website. Voice Shares website, I would call it as a B Beyond Bitcoin community website because Voice Shares may be a major part of it, but we will be promoting all the projects of uh, Beyond Bits uh, in there. And uh, that is one of the major announcements that is coming up. Then the second announcement is about the uh, money making model or the business model of Voice Shares. See, uh, b basically, yes, Fuzzy, we need the forums on EOS stock. Yeah, I was discussing about it. And about the business model, yes, sir. See, when I spoke to one of the VC, and he was like, uh, within two seconds of my project abstract, tell me right of passion, uh, passion where, is money, where is money making in this? Do you know how much it costs to build a chain? You're going to need a lot of money. Do you have money and developers to do it? One simple answer. Buddy, if I had all that, I wouldn't have come to you. And I'm here with the idea. And if you are okay with it, you can do with it. Or if you want to ask me for money, why would why would you call yourself a venture capitalist? But then we de we developed our own business model when uh, we will be creating a support system which is absolutely free of cost. But going forward, for a professional uh, certified therapist or and uh, uh, for a professional uh, certified therapist, and uh, we intend to start yoga classes, meditational classes uh, online, everything online which is course oriented. For example, if you are suffering from a particular issue uh, related to mental health, we will be starting yoga sessions which is focused on solving that mental issues. And we at Voices believe in creating that uh, natural remedy for uh, mental health issues and going forward for all the issues that we will be addressing in sport. So this will all be paid services and this will all accept Voices tokens. So the total supply of Voices tokens is 150,000 uh, right now. Uh, but I have issued only 5,000 and uh, the demand is going to increase. So people who have voice shares out there, just hold on to it or else uh, Fuzzy has uh, supported us with some of Beyond Bitcoins. You can go on exchange 
and uh, that is something uh, we will be starting off with so the money making model comes there when it, we will be starting courses and people would have want to enroll with that and the and the prices for those uh, what you pay outside in us or other countries because we get in touch with uh, the root experts for example uh, in india we get uh, yoga is a very big thing and uh, that is where this is where yoga originated and even meditation too so we get some highly qualified experts and uh, they will give a defining path for it and even for the uh, psycho uh, psychiatrist like to hear you and uh, solve your problems one on one you can always uh, refer to voices for all the help so of uh, the issues that we deal with then we start to want to build communities let me tell you how and now uh, you want to create a community with like minded people and what you can do is you can start building your own community and what how does it help see one person voice is carrying the same voice so that is one way we start building communities through voice shares for a common cause and this is one way you can get the justice to your justice to your voice and and whatever may be the case be it political or cultural regional religional everything will be addressed so this is one way that you can get involved with voice shares and the third update i don't want to give you any hints un- until it is out so this is the three updates that i would like to give as far as uh, how you can be involved with voice shares see uh, today also yesterday i think you would have heard of uh, laura lemons who was one of the pioneers of uh, streamit uh, i mean who was who was very much responsible for how the streamit was shaped to the present uh, condition she passed away by coming to site i don't know if you know about her um, magic ending i'm Wait, sorry about summarize. it i'm in a hospital dad is admitted so i am very sorry uh, you can get involved by in with voice shares by at least sharing something that you find uh, next to you people look at people around you who need help refer them to voice shares you can start by helping yourself so that is the way you can refer voice shares and if you can find some articles on voice shares feel free to re-steam it not just for the sake of upvotes your yeah, supports will only increase the exposure for the articles that we carry but your re-steams and upvotes will add a lot of credibility and you are doing it for a good cause so these are the ways you can get uh, involved with voice shares and uh, this is pretty much it uh, that i wanted to talk to and uh, you guys if any questions well i will really quickly use this moment to say that you cut out a little bit so i'll just really quickly let everybody know who may not understand what was going on there he was explaining that somebody on steemit who was a pretty long time steemit user and kind of one of the the core people in the community just committed suicide and voice shares is meant for people who have a hard time or are in a difficult position maybe even it doesn't just have to be you're depressed or something but if you need somebody to talk to because you are oppressed or because you're depressed <laughs> really either one you you have some place where you can go and you can even maybe get a message out to the world about it and and try to help other people because of your struggles is that a fair way of saying it right of passion yes so uh, any issues uh, that you need help with you can always get in touch with voice shares and not just depression or anything related to mental health you can also consider uh, issues related to your political system cultural system regional system anything that is bothering you and you can't tell it out because you are you may be judged or bullied or even killed for that matter you don't have okay. to fear for it because you can stay, share your story anonymously on voice shares and then find the support system of people who align with your cause and story so that is one way we can start creating communities who fight for justice now this to me is almost like a an upgraded wiki leaks potentially where you could actually leak things then and like what what will happen when something like that happens Will you guys be okay with that if something like is leaked that is technically not supposed to be leaked how will you deal with that I'll tell you uh WikiLeaks is something totally different because here there is nothing called uh, that is something leaked which is supposed not to be leaked because here we are concerned we are concerned about people's voices and such voices will only gain credibility when more and more people get associated with it and we will have professional experts who will be guiding such communities in the right direction to get the justice so that is where the business model of voice shares comes the motto of voice shares will be only restricted to getting out the voice out there 
but the second part of it is where the business model of voice shares comes into picture there's a lot of in- there's a lot of and i think that there's it's going to be a very interesting project does anybody I, I can get get into this. Does anybody have any questions or comments that they would like to make in this? Like to make in this? Yeah, yeah, yes, I have. I wanted to ask whether it's like calling each other up or is it like really voice hearing each other's voice or how can it be anonymous? Yes, you tell, I'll tell you. So you can start off by having a chat. It's up to the convenience of the storyteller because some of them may never want to even speak. So what do, how do you deal with those people? You will have to provide a platform where they can chat. And some of them are comfortable. How do you provide a platform? You'll have to provide an hangout kind of a scenario where their identity is totally hidden. And some of, are, of them are even okay with revealing the identity. For example, Dense Girl, she came up with her story and uh, she came, came out in open that this is her story. So some, there are people like that and who would like to stand as, a, uh, stand as an example for the society. So for them also, we will give an open forum. And there are few more who require the highest, highest uh, kind of uh, sophistication. For, the, for them, we will be removing out the spectral structure from the voice and doing it a robotic voice and doing it. So that is, that is the kind of uh, the thing that you can get interactive. That's beautiful. This project has hit me like really uh, in the heart when I read about it. So thank you very much. Yeah, that's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that you like it too, Nutella. Uh, there's... What I've really liked to see, Ryan of Passion, is that you've been here for a while now, and you've been, you never stopped on this project. And one of the things that I think, if I can boil people who are successful down into one thing, it's the ones who never stop. Because you really don't have any choice but to succeed if every time you fail, you get better and stand up. <laughs> so... It's kind of, I'll say that I'm very interested, but I'll also say that there's a lot more that we could talk about with this project. I I mean, I see, for instance, you're saying the voice of the oppressed, right? So to me, it's like a delineation between the voice of the oppressed and somebody who might be leaking something, but they're oppressed too. You know, like what if somebody's leaking something illegally, quote unquote illegally, but it's, it's also kind of like a WikiLeaks document, you know, oh, I worked for this government lab and i signed an nda and they were growing chimeras that were not human or or animals so they didn't have rights and they could do crazy tests on them and i leak that or something you know and i because i'm i feel like man i can't do this anymore and this is this is just wrong these creatures don't have rights and they're doing terrible things to whatever the heck they've created you know and you want to stop stand up and say something that would technically be elite right but at the same time that person's in a difficult position. So how would you guys handle that? Like, that's one of the big things for me. Does, do you think that's another chain, chain altogether or something or what? No. Uh, see, when I say you are being suppressed or depressed, or it is, a, it is a form of suppression. Just because it is illegal, that doesn't mean that government or any, any public body can exploit us. Uh, you know, I mean, if a person is um, devastated with something, and it is because of the wrongdoing of a government. He has all the rights to have the freedom of speech. I'll give you a live example. A journalist was killed here in India a day before yesterday just because she, she spoke up against the ruling government. Do you think that is fair enough for the government or the people to do it? No. I mean, whatever is the wrongdoing, be it from a government or a public uh, sector, it is a wrongdoing. So we support all kinds of wrongdoing and people. There may be hundreds of people like him been cheated by the government so it's not fair because everything today runs on a political system and whatever is the wrongdoing it is the wrongdoing so we will be encouraging them to come out with the stories because it's not the story of voice shares it is the story that voice shares is projecting for the justice Thank and you. it is not like they can target anyone individually because we will be dealing with uh, lots of things and lots of ways to put it across and there are people who have won against government as well so we will be that that part of it and coming to the second part, yes, uh, uh, I've really been quickly, trying uh, my best to get involved in the communities and the spirit comes from you, Fuzzy. And uh, as I said... Uh, really quickly, Ride of Passion, I had to mute you just so you can hear me. We're at 15 minutes. I'll give you the opportunity if you would like to add 5 to 10 minutes on. If you were interested in doing so, we can do that now if everybody's in, if everybody says yes.
and Rite of Passion. Would you like to add more time or would you like to close it off for, for right now and maybe resume this on another date? No, uh, what I'll do is I'll be stay, share dropping uh, 10 voice shares for all the attendees here. But I'll not be extending my time because my dad is admitted at the hospital. I was just waiting for my talk to get finished. And I'll have to really rush up. I just bought him now. So I'll, I'll be sending over uh, 300 voice shares, 350 voice shares because there are 35 participants. And you can just distribute it to them as you always do. But I don't want to extend any kind of time. I'm already running out of time. Thanks a lot for uh, the opportunity, Fuzzy. Well, man, I look forward to hearing more from you. And I'll tell you what, let's talk behind the scenes because there, I want to get you forums up and running like the Smoke Network has them too. And we have free OS talk. And we're going to have a bunch of cool stuff coming that I think that will help you as well. And I'm going to, I plan on helping the Smoke Network people because they seem like they're pretty on top of some stuff too. And they've said they're going to replicate things. So that might help you with your chain idea as well. Sure, I'm glad uh, we to had see discussed it, about uh, these forums before as well. It would be very, very efficient for us to have forums there. And there was one bug that I would like to discuss. We started posting stories from, uh, not related to voices, but other stories from EOS talk. But it was not getting posted there. However, the tag was carried along. So I'll discuss this offline, not an issue. But thanks a lot, everyone. Thank sure. you, Crypto. Thank you, Crypto EP, for the share dropping. And it's amazing to talk to you guys. And I'll just uh, call it a day for today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, with that said, we're going to be moving on. And I will say before we do move on that I appreciate everybody who joins up today and who has joined up in the past. You are the beating heart of a grassroots community that does things that other crypto media do not do so we're in a place where we can do amazing things and while a lot of other people might want to lease out their steam power i've decided that i'm going to throw the dice and risk it all on giving these the steam power and the upvotes to people like you who are trying to build value in the space and I want to urge you to leverage that and also to consider how can you help me grow and empower us further. Because if I can help you and you can help me, we can create synergy. And we have people like Ride of Passion here who's making his own chain. And we have people who are making projects on BitShares like Topsoul. And, and these are... These are the people who are trying to build valuable things into this world that are going to help us make a transition during a very, I won't say a very dangerous time, but it, it, let's face it, 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 there's, we've got a lot of problems to fix. And we have now an economic system and tokenification that we can fix. Yeah, an interesting time, Chief Mapster, like the Chinese like to say. May you live in an interesting time. And we definitely live in an interesting time and supporting these types of projects, especially, and that support might just mean, you know, participating in discussion about it and uh, critiquing it and improving it. You know, these types of things are how we, we create large amount of value. And we have these economic systems now that we can use based on a blockchain that will also empower us but make us a lot of more a lot more money and resources so we can continue building. And once we make everybody here a whale in some chain, we create a heck of a lot more value together and we've actually worked together. So we know how to leverage it. So I look forward to talking to more of you. Bring more people, bring more cool people who are doing things like what Progressive Chef is about to do. What he's talking about with his Iron Chef bring these people and help them in the ways that you can even if you're not a whale in steam power you've got value props so rock them out now we'll go ahead now and we'll move on to progressive chef and he is going to be talking about the iron chef on steam it so uh, progressive chef are you around yes i'm here are you hearing me oh i sa you sound very good man okay, uh, i hear it perfectly so what I'll do is I'll just say, if you could please give like about a minute and a half, minute introduction, who you are, how you got into cryptocurrency, and how you're here, and then what you're doing. Okay. I'm from Mauritius, actually. 
I'm uh, 34 years old. Uh, I'm working for 15 years in the hotel industry. So I was uh, my last position was executive chef uh, of Saint Regis Mauritius, and then I quit because I was really very sick. You know, stress. I quit the job last year. For six months, I've been at home, no work. I was wondering what to do. You know, leaving six thousand dollars salary without, uh, and then afterwards zero zero salaries was very difficult for me. And then finally, I found out about this team. It it's uh, like four months before I get uh, access to to steam it and uh, from there I'm still learning on uh, crypto but uh, I'm a very passionate about food I think hey, you you guys know about the one who knows me and that's it I, I wanted always to have a, a project made, made for all the food lovers and uh, here I am with my steam uh, steam it iron chef now okay Hello. that is the introduction so why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit more about steam it iron chef and okay. what it's about and I'm assuming you don't have a coin or anything is that correct no not yet uh, I don't have a coin actually but it's on the plan it's for after because oh. really yeah I, I wanted to do something about food food coin I'm not I'm not so I'm not so so how is it uh, tech uh, tech person but I'm very good on food so if I can get some support anywhere to, to create this it would be great so basically, uh, Esteem Iron Chef, uh, I put it here because me also when I started, it was very difficult for me to get noticed. Very, everyone knows about it. Very, very difficult and you can get discouraged. But fortunately, I got some good support from Will Sheehan in the past when I started by winning some contests and uh, it was very nice. And then finally, I saw many of my friends who, who come to Steam it, but after one week, they just quit. They could not continue because they were not getting any notice. I keep on, keep on doing my things, and finally I I got uh, some support from some I will not say whales like Donkey Pong, Canadian Coconut. These people like this are supporting me every day on my post so that uh, I can use this to finance my project. And uh, last week uh, I just say, okay, it's time to go. Let's do it. So Steam Iron Chef is actually. Here, not simply like a weekly contest, but it will go for a whole year. So every week there is three or four winners. But this week I give seven people. I just sent the the winning uh, contest today, the announcement. I give seven prizes, all from my wallet. I give them, and on top of that, I created another account, Esteem Esteem It Iron Chef. This account is used to collect all the posts, all the money I make there will be kept for the whole year, and then end of the year distributed to the top 20 food content creator only original so it's double you can get double double uh, encouragement i can say rewards first weekly rewards and then if you stay for the whole year with me each week come to participate in the contest and of the year if you're in the top 20 i will distribute the, all the money the liquid spd that's made there everything will be distributed among these people so I think it's, it's quite interesting and uh, on the first week itself I got 22 people participating which is great. That's really good. Yeah. And uh, just uh, yesterday I launched the second week uh, with a, it, uh, as a team is like every week I send uh, one, uh, one product like the first week was tomato. So everyone have to do something about tomato which is great about this you have vegetarian, vegans, non-vegetarians, everyone can participate it's not restricted you know. It's very interesting for everyone to, to just join and, and, and create something amazing. And we got really great, great, great plates. I'll just say cooking is an art, like I was saying ah. in there. And it's oh. crazy. What's cool about having communities like this and trying to offer these opportunities is that people like you come on who, ha who have expertise in this. We have somebody who has expertise in, you know, making solar farms you know we've got somebody who wants to build their own chain that's kind of, that could work as you know a voice yeah. for oppressed people you know all of these different things all together and and they're each experts and you're here talking about there are literally people out there that you'd give them a competition where this is the ingredient make your art yeah exactly that's that's the, the goal behind this contest and uh, really i'm I'm very surprised, I can say, the, the levels that I'm seeing from, from people on Steam. It. I just sent uh, the, the announcement today, if you have uh, time, you can check it. The, the food that they do, wow, just wow, amazing. Do they have to give recipes? 
I, I make it very easy for them so that we don't, because making recipes, I know it's very complicated. You make the, the photo, just, just uh, sell, sell the product with me, but I need only one, uh, one picture with a proof on it, you know, with a name and uh, same like everyone do, the, the name and the date, so that we don't, uh, uh, they don't send me any old recipe. It's only new, new recipe, but uh, no need. I don't need, I don't want to see recipe, everything. I want to see the, the finished plates normally. And the story behind this, yes. Do you mind if I just ask you really quickly? Um, okay. Have you considered reaching out to like different products and potentially getting them to sponsor you for doing this and having people cook with the product itself? That would be a great idea. That would be a great idea. I didn't think about this, but that would be a great idea. Sure. Because, I, man, you're in a place where you could make people a lot of money and these people like there are definitely products out there and you could actually go out and grab the best stuff and like show people or, or maybe even like how to eat well and healthy on you know on a budget even or or have like different themes even you know where this one's going to be a healthy on a, a budget month where you get 30 different recipes or 30 different types of recipes made with this item and now you have them sponsoring it too so they can actually earn more money yeah sure that's a great idea you know even the, the project i have like this year i have only four months because before the end it will be very tight i'm um, even thinking for next year like 12 months if i collect enough on my steam it account steam it uh, iron chef account why not have a big uh, a big fiesta like inviting the free top chef that we have and make a contest for them it's all about you know a big a big program for them. It's I know it's need, it, we can we will need very much money to to sponsor it, but I think on three hundred and sixty days, if we collect uh, minimum that every day, it, it's feasible. I think it's feasible to organize something very big on the big big uh, big stage. Yeah, I just think it's really cool because if if you're doing that, then you got kind of like create a cooking guild where everybody is showing how they're doing things and what they're making and and having a, an, an ingredient that is a sponsor which of yeah. course you don't have to use the sponsor's version of the ingredient that you can use mm -hmm. anything but if it's something that you know you can even go out and find stuff like is non-gmo and promote yeah. it in terms of it, it maybe take a little bit less money but you're getting subsidized by steam too so it evens out you know <laughs> there's a lot mm. of yeah, man, I'm very interested. <laughs> wow. No, you can grow it very well. Yes, sure. It can make it uh, one of the best best project on on Steam. I think on food, food for the food people. Great possibilities. Many things to do. Do you guys? Does anybody else have any questions or comments? I mean, I can obviously talk about this. Yeah, could you elaborate, please, on the on the year long idea? Would it, so this would be like fifty two competitions. Yes, this year, unfortunately, we have only four months before the end, and every week. Well, every day I make a post. Myself, I control this account. It's the Meat Iron Chef account. I make a post, and all the liquid SPD are stuck there. I don't touch anything. Nothing is touched. And people are also sending donations. You can see in the wallet, some people sending two SPD, three SPD. Me also, I contribute, like, not daily, but once I have something, some, some more, I just send it there. It's stuck it there. All the upvotes that the, con uh, the contestants, everything is stuck. And uh, end of the year, it's distributed like that. One coming first. 25% of, of the of the wallet will go to him, and then it's 15% of second one, 10% the one coming third, fourth to tenth will get 3%, and uh, 11 to 20 get 1%. Interesting. Like, so every week, next week if he come, he he just he just did not uh, get any. He will get a valid entry, get only one point. So I, I, I sent out the link today. I don't know if anyone, if you have anything, you can just check it there. I put all the information because it's quite a big project. I know even the participant, uh, they are reaching out to me to ask me exactly what to do, what it is. But I am here to, to reply to any, any, any question you have. Yeah, so I wanted to ask about health. So are there people who are interested in health, do you think? Excuse me, I, I don't, don't get your word, please. Are people interested in healthy food as well? Do you see that? Yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. I see, like, I, I was, I think I did the right thing by putting vegetable and fruits every time. Like, I get a lot of vegans coming on. 
we have a lot of vegetarian also, like you have Amy Goodrich, Heart to Heart, the, the people who do always uh, vegan, they are very conscious about health. They are all there participating, which is quite, it's a very great, great thing. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's very interesting that you have people who are coming on who probably have sat there and like there are a lot of people out there who are really good cooks right <laughs> yeah like it, it's it's like its own sphere of art so you have different people who've probably compiled their own pretty much like books cookbooks of their own anyway or even been passed down cookbooks so it's okay. like you almost have gold there like i often remember like my grandma's no longer around but mm she had a cookbook that she passed around and they like copied it from her because she yeah. did it so well. And, and literally like everybody during holidays would love going over to her house because she made like feasts and you know, and it's like, that's gold right there. That's another value proposition that a lot of people, we tend to, to not really like, we just go grab food when we're hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But me, I, I think big possibilities. This uh, I just started the project, but the idea is coming. Like just now, you give me some ideas about the food sponsors. I think we can do a lot, a lot, a lot about this. Well, I hope that everybody here continues to bring value to these projects because if you notice, just the people's questions here, it helps to bounce ideas off of people, especially people who are thinking about this nonstop. <laughs> right hmm. if this is what you're kind of what kind of what your job is then it's a pretty cool job but yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to also get outside of your own echo the echo chamber of your own mind sometimes and get other ideas but it's yeah. very it was wonderful to listen to what you have to say we're a little bit over but i will say that i appreciate you joining up today how do people contact you if they want to participate in this stuff it's i have also a discord channel is team my own chef so everyone is there and uh, anytime I, you can find the link also I, if I want I can send it now no, no problem you can join me there for any questions sounds good man and you are going to be on there as progressive chef yes well thank you very much man and I will say thank you to everybody who makes these hangouts possible just even sharing or re steaming the hangouts or these hangout announcements really help us posting it to youtube for your own for your own channel you can make a little bit of money on steam doing it and on youtube uh, feel free to share it this sure. content is here for everybody and this platform is here for you to all have the ability to get some coverage on projects in a space where otherwise you probably wouldn't get it unless you paid them a bunch of tokens so with that said, we want to build a community that helps everybody to get a little bit of the tokens in various projects. And that way we all have an incentive to help one another's projects and leverage the community and the network that we build here. So I appreciate everybody who joins up and is part of this. And with that said, I, I really want to say thank you, Progressive Chef. And I will look forward to hearing a little bit more about what's going on in that little sphere. And please provide updates in coming weeks because I love hearing back after various ideas are hatched. Okay, we'll go ahead and we're going to move on to Marky Mark. And he's going to be talking about Project Build a Whale and all the cool things he's doing with it. Marky Mark, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're always ready, man. All right, man. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll just step back and please give everybody just a real quick explain it like I'm five for, for those who might be listening for the first time and then go into any updates you might have, man. All right, guys. Um, I'm doing Build a Whale and it's a bidding bot similar to Booster and Belly Rub. The unique part of it is we have human curation that um, we go through the bids that come in and look at them and pick the five best posts for the day and put out a digest daily. We've been doing that for a little while now, and it's been getting a lot of attention and people like that aspect. One of the things we did recently was increase our scene power from 20,000 to 33,000, which allows us to give a $5 upvote. I'm working on a deal right now to get over 150,000 added to that. The goal is to be on par with Rando Whale, Belly Rub, and all the big guys, mainly uh, Booster is the one that has good 650000 So that's one thing we're trying to get done. 
we just announced recently or yesterday sponsored posts which you can uh, send three steam rather than uh, sbd to uh build a whale and we will put you in the digest without having to go through um and competing against 120 or so posts for the day uh, we do reserve some rights in that we don't want to do any porn right now uh, just because it's going to go in our general digest we don't want to do anything that's uh untasteful or illegal but otherwise we don't want to act as a censor so we want to allow people to kind of bypass the queue and go in there and we're going to mark that section clearly that this is a sponsored post kind of like an ad but it, it allows you to get followers and stuff like that and not have to um go through the queue and compete against so many different people so that's something we did yesterday and we already got one person into it i don't know how popular it's going to be but i was surprised we got somebody within the first 30 minutes of announcing it so um this issue we should have one in there i wanted to uh open it up to some questions I don't have a lot to say, and I don't want to take up a lot of time, and I have to go to a soccer game. But uh, I want to open up for questions, if anyone had questions about Build the Wheel or what we're doing or anything like that. Well, I did want to ask you, Is it does it seem like it's profitable for you to be able to use the Build a Wheel and still be leasing all of that? The lease is not profitable um, the way we're doing it now. We're going through Minnow Booster, which um, even if you, if you bought their stuff and uh, – upvoted everything you had 100% of the time at every 2.4 hour intervals and did not miss any of the 280 intervals you get in a four week period, you would barely break even. When you um, factor in the decay, the chances of being downvoted, um, but even just the decay alone, um, you're looking at less than 10% profit. So it's not a very profitable, that's why we're trying to get private leases that are much better. The first lease we got um, 200 to 1. Although it wasn't a great deal, it was definitely profitable. We were able to break even and have enough to buy another lease. But the one we're at now, we'll probably break even. We might make some. We'll probably lose some. And that's the way it is. I, I generally expect it. That's what um, Belly Rub was doing as well. He did a private lease through Dang and was the same rate. Uh, he got a tiny bit better, like 153 to 1 instead of 150. But it's still so low that it's just not worth doing. And that's why we're trying to get um, people that can sponsor us and do a private lease that is a little bit more aggressive. Even if you're leasing the uh, Minnow Booster, you're only getting 208 to 1. So even if we got a lease at 200 to 1, you're still getting a better deal than going through Minnow Booster because of their 10%. And the fact that it cuts off after four weeks, you have a one-week downtime. So by doing it directly, we can avoid that by just doing it for infinity and just keep paying every week or every day or whatever we work out so we're actively talking to some whales and talking to as many people as we can we have some smaller people that um, are coming up um, with some steam power from their leases that they're interested in doing it directly as well that that'll help we want to build a baseline that we have even if it's like five thousand or a thousand at least something so we always have something there and then we can go for the bigger fish to really get up to that five hundred thousand range we're trying to get so real quick another question that i had and, and of course I'll open it up for other people before I go asking any other ones after this, but is there a limit um, to the number of paid ads that you have on one of these digest posts? Not right now. We haven't thought about it. I think um, what the plan is to have two or three. We, we put out a price on uh, three steam. We want it high enough that it won't get flooded, but low enough that it's attractive to get followers. And you're probably not going to break even in terms of cost, but you'll get follow, followers, readers, and stuff like that. And so we want to make it high enough that it's the barrier entry is not going to get flooded and, and it's not going to be valueless, but it's going to have some value. And the goal is to have a coin that we'd have that we'd hand out and that would be, represent those spots. And then they can buy them separately. We're not sure if we'd have them available to buy or just hand it out only, but that's that's the plan. Have you considered maybe a silent bid? Like where people can silently bid every day on it. No, I haven't, but that's a, that's definitely an idea. We haven't given much thought. But th the problem is, how do you like? Do they pay, and then if they don't win, they lose their money? How does that work? What were you thinking? I would say probably give it back, but just because you could automate it and it would be no fees for you, that's why I would say it for you. I couldn't do it unless I had somebody automate it for me. But you could probably automate it yourself right 
yeah, it's something we definitely automate. It's um, it, it's a lot of um, it's something we could think about. Yeah, yeah. There's I'm just trying to think because the only issue that I see is like if you have a bunch of people who want to be on that digest, right? But you don't want it to just be like you probably want it to be like a third the the that content, right? Yeah, that's and what I had in mind. Yeah. Before I go into this, I'm sorry, I said that I wouldn't say anything else. Does anybody have any questions or comments? One thing we want to start doing is some niche digest as well, but we need to grow so we have uh, more coming in on the post and make it worthwhile to get more people involved. But we want to do things like uh, not safe for work type of stuff, crypto focused digest, art, yeah. travel, and have those tr um, focused ones. But until the posts make enough to justify having more people involved, um, we have to stick with just one. That sounds great. Have you, have you considered to work together, say, with Robin Hut, with Elephant Coin, the looking for niche coin? How would that work? I, I talked to Robin I, I a lot. I talked to Robin so. a lot. So. I would definitely be interested, I would definitely in, talking be interested about in talking about something. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking about, you were talking about niches. So what I find very difficult is to find my audience and that the audience finds me. So I was thinking like maybe it's an idea, but if, if you already talk with him a lot, then I think you know more than me. Yeah, I can ask him if he had any ideas. I talk to Robin fairly often. He's a good person. I'd definitely be interested in partnering him with there's something we can do. Yeah, I definitely think that we should like work more together because there's a lot of projects and uh, some of them are uh, doing the same thing, like the OCD uh, s stuff, and it's like too much to keep up. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot, and that's why we want to focus. Um, OCD focuses on one post, and we want to focus on uh, multiple um, targeted ones. But we have to get bigger. They are a lot bigger than us. I was talking to Acid Yo a few times earlier, and they're a lot bigger. They've been around for a lot longer and have a lot more readership and a, a bigger trail. Uh, one thing we're looking at doing is adding a trail, um, just like what they have, is when um, and it's kind of another thing to reward people bidding is if they do get featured in the curation digest, it's much more important because we're going to have a trail going behind it that will um, vote on those things, and then we'll have a trail behind that to uh, follow that up. You know, you could even have when we enable trail coins where – if you get added, like where you could actually distribute these trail coins and let people determine the curation of, of what goes on to the digest using those tokens, like essentially have a white list of people. And then you could even have like competitions where you use those to give the tokens out. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I definitely want to hear about when you have the wheel trails ready. Let me know because um, that's something we'd be interested in looking at. Yeah, I'm kind of like wanting to see what people do with these things because i'm pretty sure that when when whale trail coins are out it's going to be pretty big difference because a lot of a lot of whales they just want you know and i understand they want to they want to maximize their investment and stuff but it's like man the people are the investment it's so easy to just get lost in the numbers and say the numbers are the investment but the people are really are really ultimately the investment yeah, the the things with the whales is they have a um, they have a rule of thumb is to make two hundred percent a year, and that's where Minnow Booster was built off of the twenty four percent each quarter is pretty much or each uh, month or whatever they they want to make two hundred percent, and if they can't make two hundred percent, they're not interested in being involved. That's what I found a lot of things. I mean, like, what do you mean two hundred percent? Like, if I give you a hundred thousand steam power, I need to get a hundred thousand steam power by the end of the year or something. Exactly. Yeah, that's what they're. That's what I found um, a lot of people. I've talked to a lot of people, and that's what they've said they found as well, is their target is 200% on whatever they put in. Like, see, see, the way I see it, I have, a, I have a theory about Steema, is that the whales are locked in a jail. Like I said before, they can't get out. If they get out, it takes three yeah. months. And when they do, they're going to crash the market. So they're stuck there. So what they're trying to do is do things that give them liquid liquidity. Um, things like getting steam power, I mean, uh, steam or steam dollars, um, anything they can do to get liquid and still keep their asset, their main steam power without being touched. And they want to do it for 200%. And that's what most people are interested in. Yeah, it's a very interesting dynamic. I, I still, I still believe that you're stuck in that cage potentially, but uh, I don't even really look at it necessarily as a cage. It's more like an agreement with all of you guys. All the people who are on Steam 
as whales, I think if we if we're smart about it and we invested in the right things and the right people, value is going to come out and emerge. It's going to have this value or has the this emergent property that like I can't plan for all the cool things that will pop up. I can't plan for all the cool things that are going to come on this hangout and talk, right? But they're going to come on and they're going to blow my mind and they're going to give me a bunch of ideas and I'm going to have, you know what I mean? It's like, but those, I could never necessarily like plan for those, but if I can benefit those people, like I'm benefiting you with, you know, and I'm trying to give these tokens out to help all you guys, for instance, just in a little way that you guys are in turn how much more value are you guys driving into the network because of that than what I'm actually giving you? And I'm trying to give out a decent bit, you know what I mean? So uh, like, I feel like if we did that and we made it so there was a reason for people to have steam power and to show people that we can build things, like really build a lot of stuff, then the value of steam power just consistently goes up and then we have more to build with. I think a lot of the whales are just in it for what they, they can get into it and they feel like they're stuck here, so they just want to monetize it as much as possible. And I've looked at a, a lot of the whales. Almost uh, most of them I looked at have things going on, like alternate accounts that they're dropping votes to to get money back. There's all these like side things going on that's in the back that's giving them the money in a different way, but it's not visible. So I mean, they all have something going on. I don't think there's many out there that are really interested in building stuff. It's mostly how can I profit from what I have and make it work for me? It's kind of it's kind of like Ethereum is going is proof of stake. It, what they have their steam power is a stake, and they're using it to get funds. It's this physical work, and you're building posts and stuff like that. But in the end, it's really just a proof of stake model, and that's what they're using it for is trying to get as most of it as they can. But I have talked to somebody that had 500 steam power that I had a really good shot at getting, but uh, they just don't like the idea of a bidding bot. And otherwise, they would have been interested in giving me a chunk of it. But so we're trying to find somebody that's okay with that and like C curation and other parts and some other things that we're working on. Well, I think that when we have the whale trail tokens available and you won't have to have the whales delegate, you'll just have them follow it. I think, yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, I think that there's going to be a lot of things. I, I'm trying to build these tools for you guys. It's just, man, it's I'm not super duper rich. I got resources these days. I ain't going to lie. But I, you know what I mean? Like, we can get there. It's just going to take a little bit more time. But yeah, I, I hope to. I hope that that stuff does help you. And I hope that you can maybe leverage that to get something behind it. Because maybe behind the scenes, we can even work on making the token for you and stuff, man. I want to help you. One other thing I wanted to bring up, if there's no other questions, is um, witnesses. Uh, I'm a witness. There's a lot of witnesses out there. I notice a lot of people are voting for witnesses that are expired. For example, you, Fuzzy, you have three witnesses that haven't updated in months or almost a year. I mean, that's a common thing is people either don't vote yeah. for witnesses or they vote for witnesses and never change it. Uh, witness votes are supposed to be flexible, and you can turn them on and off as you please. You have 30 of them. So do use them, whether you vote for me or anybody else. Just pick people that you believe in and vote in them. Uh, well, that's what ever, I've been doing. If you ever find somebody who is not doing something correctly as a witness, let me know and I'll definitely look into it. And if you are running a witness, I will probably replace them with you. But with that said, uh, you're about a minute over, but you don't have a token. So at this point in time, would you mind if we just go ahead and I say, how can people contact you? You give them maybe your email or how it's best to contact you if they want to help you with this stuff. Sure. I'll drop a link to the discord, build a whale or Marky, the Marky Mark on steam. You can send me a message there or deem it chat and I'll drop a link to uh, our build a whale discord, but I hang out a lot in whale shares. So you can always find me in there and I change my name to my, steam and id so it's easy to recognize me well thank you for joining up and doing everything that you're doing because i won't lie whenever i first met you and you were talking about how you build bots all my life like i have never built a bot but i used to use bots in games and things like that and it, it would require you know a little bit of learning maybe 60 hours of learning on a forum but you could automate things that could make you decent money 
And that's the, that's where we're moving into everyone. That's like a generation of automation is what we're getting into with all of the good and the bad things that come along with that. So it's very, it's very cool, Marky Mark. And I look forward to seeing your creations and how you start putting all that stuff together with some of the tools that we have coming as well. But with that said, I will say, everybody, please help the projects that you resonate with in these Hangouts. Up next is going to be Forrest Willie, and he's going to be talking about a project that's really cool to me called Purity. And I'm actually working with them to a degree as an advisor, so I want to say very much I appreciate everything that they're doing, and all the ideas that you guys are having are, are wonderful ideas for an activity network. Rather than me talk about it, I will go ahead and I'll step back and I'll give you your 15 minutes to go, man. Well, um, I'm not going to take up too much time talking about what Purity is, but I will go over it real quick for all of the people that are new listeners. So Purity, we want to use crypto tokens to reward human interaction, basically. Fine. So that could be something like blogging. That could be something like a group where you go meet with people and sort of like a meetup group. And that could be many things. It's basically up to the user to create whatever form of content they want. It could also be a peer, like a, a hangout like this that we could reward. So that's, that's just a quick overview kind of of what purity is and what our goal is. Inside of that, there's a whole lot going on. <laughs> right now, we've been working real hard to get our token sale launched. And so our crowdfund is going to begin on October 15th, and those will start at, we'll be selling 20 million tokens for 20 cents a piece. And that should fund us being able to build the project. That'll be the first round. We'll be able to build the core project and then have our second round of crowdfunding to build more and more features so that token that we will be selling during the crowdfund is a erc20 token uh, so you have to have ethereum to buy it we're just kind of locking down the token sale contract some of the other contracts and we're right now looking for third party audits if anybody uh, has any leads in that direction that would be very helpful to us that's another thing I wanted to talk about but or at least mention another thing is if you go to our website purity.io you can go to the crowdfund page and we've got a fundraiser agreement basically terms and conditions that we just updated and this is for people looking to invest prior to the ICO or the craft on but there's a whole vesting schedule basically and so people holding certain amounts of tokens will only be able to liquidate their wallet at uh, certain rates and that's just to keep people vested in um, what we're doing that's for you know, private investors also. We also have the uh, UI that we created for Beyond Bitcoin community only, and that's available to you guys right now at 15 cents. So, good chance to uh, jump in and earn some cash because it'll be sold for 20 in the initial crowd on, and then the second round we'll be selling. We'll be selling. 30 million of them for 30 cents and 30 million of them for 40 cents so getting them at 50 is a good deal so yeah i don't know i wanted to open that up to anybody that had questions about our project about what we're doing who we are where we come from we we just brought on a bunch more people so uh our team's growing and it's we're moving closer towards a time when everything's going up for sale and pushing it hard. So I'll open it up to questions. Yes. Well, real quickly, Crazy Krista is saying, is this a separate platform from Steemit? Yes, this is a separate platform from Steemit. This platform is Purity. It is not a graphene chain. It is going to be built on Tendermint. 
which is probably the closest thing to delegated proof of stake in this space. Correct. So it's actually not too far off. It's it's kind of the the concepts behind it are very similar. And if you don't mind, crypto, I I just would you talk a little bit about the potential for how you can earn on Steam and Parity. Well, right now you can earn on Steam through Discord bounties, which I'll be putting up more of. We'd like to be able to get, if we could figure out how to do cross-posting, it'd be really cool. But we also have bounty campaigns, so you can earn pure tokens right now. You can earn um, upvotes by participating in the our bounty system on Bitcoin Talk. And that only runs for another two weeks, so jump on there but yeah if we can get some form of cross posting going or a way to integrate what we're doing with um communities that are in steam it and have already built in steam it want to come over and earn on our chain as well um that would be great yeah the way i look at it is if if you can use two different services that are valuable for different reasons they can both be a social network and have different kinds of purposes, right? Like everybody has multiple social media accounts these days for a reason. And that's because they all provide various different kinds of services. Now, if you can make money on all of them, I think people are going to start becoming um, members of more social networks. <laughs> I guess is my point. Yeah, absolutely. And that just extends their reach and their communities reach out into um, the physical world and the cyber world so that's and cross that's pollinates what we're what we're hoping to do <laughs> yes <Yep>. cross pollination <laughs> that and having an army of dax right i mean if you have an army of these different um chains and they're all actually the social media kind of chains are one of the one of the ones with this, this special property where you can earn a lot more on both like on multiple chains and kind of those chains compete to pay you you know what i mean if you have it where where those systems where you're a member of all these different countries why not right we can do that these days if every chain is a country why not have many countries and be a citizen of all of them and you know and you get the benefits and if you don't like where it goes you can leave and that's kind of what Purity is going to offer something special that other chains don't. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're, um, we're also implementing a, this is in its infancy stages right now, but it is being worked on and conceptualized. But uh, we're building a easy to read, easy to use smart contracting language called Handshake. And I'll try to get Brent on next week to talk more about that because uh, it's kind of his baby. <laughs> but yeah, basically just want to make smart contracts that um, communities can use and know what they're getting into when they enter those contracts. You know, make it simple, because current contract smart contracts are, if you're not a coder or you don't know somebody that is that can explain it to you, you may or may not know what you're getting into. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that is difficult for people these days. Like, let's just say that smart contracts are not very accessible to the everyday person, and that's one of the things that we're that we're all trying to do too, right? Smart contracts just being quite literally like, if this happens, then this happens, and oftentimes that will be with a token. Yep. Yes, it will. So yeah. So will I be able to really quick? Will I be able with handshake to be able to make it so whenever you come home at night at eleven o'clock at this time, if you're if you plug in your phone, you will receive a purity token from me. Or if you're at the meeting at this time, you guys all get a token. If that contract, yeah, I I don't see why. If you have a full contracting language, you could. Write a contract that will do just about anything. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I hate <laughs> to, like yeah. The reason I bring it up is just because 
a lot of people who listen to these, they don't necessarily even understand what really understand what Bitcoin is. A lot of the people, especially, are, are from Steam, you know, and not everybody understands. So it's oftentimes it's best, like when we're talking about smart contracts or something to say X, Y, and Z is like a use case that shows what a contra smart contract can be. For sure. Yeah. Just smart cool. contract. Smart contract is just basically code that's executed when something is done. So, you know, you, you send a transaction to the smart contract and it executes um, what's written into it. So that's a basic explanation for anybody coming from Steam that doesn't understand that. But communities will be able to use and make and write their own smart contracts. So I think that's going to be big. Does anybody have, we got about a minute and a half left and I hate to cut you off, but does anybody have any questions or comments? Because I will say that this is, I'm pretty confident in this project. Uh, it's not a graphene project, but I like a couple projects in the space a lot. And I really do like Purity. What you guys are doing is going to be a solid project. And I'm glad that I got in on it. I, I could buy up those tokens the rest of those tokens, but I would like to leave some for other people. So I'm not an ultra mega whale in it. That's so nice of but, you. <laughs> man, I want to buy them. I do want to buy them because it's cheap. I could make money off them. If I, even if I just wanted to spit them out and sell them during the ICO, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's kind of why, you know, kind of why we designed it to be at that price is so that um, you guys could take advantage of, doing that or holding them so giving you that advantage just for those listening later on the recording what's the like estimated time frame for the platform coming online and even uh, cross posting Ooh, um to be honest i cannot really say i we're looking to have i would say quarter one <laughs> of next year we're doing our crowdfund in uh and i can't um, can't say that we'll have cross posting especially by then, but yeah, that's when we plan to launch and everybody could jump in and start using the platform. Yeah, I'm planning on trying to get people to work on the cross-posting tool as well, but that will be for multiple chains that I would like to have hook up to it. Just because I think these chains, it should be kind of the opposite way of how it is, which is currently where a bunch of of people who own a lot of tokens in the chain are kind of, you know, they make a bunch of money, but you, they should be competing for users interest without having to, without forcing them to choose between them. If that makes sense, that just empowers the little guy. Yeah. And you know, there will be a lot of tools that, that communities make like that as well too. So, um, say we don't make cross posting, but a community decides that that's what they want then they can go ahead and make that. Um, so, you know, Fuzzy, you saying you're working on a tool is kind of just that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of interested in doing. But what I'll talk about with you um, right now is you're at about 30 seconds past time. So is there anything that you would like to say, like maybe 30 seconds to as far as how that people can reach out to you and talk to you and a ask some of these questions to maybe some of the development team, even as far as their roadmaps. Um, yeah, we'll post the uh, Discord server in here. Um, there's usually somebody there to answer questions at any given time of the day or soon enough. That is growing. Uh, we're also doing our. Um, you can reach us at. Like you can reach me at forest at purity .io, and you can reach the project at info at purity .io. Also, we're doing our purity hangout. Um, this next one will be tomorrow night at the same well same time that this show started in our Discord channel. So okay, so, so three p.m. UTC. Yep, and then after that will be Fridays at three p.m. UTC. All right. Well, I have to talk to you about some things behind the scenes, so please reach out to me behind the scenes as well. Yep, I'd love to, man. Thank you for having us on, and thank you, everybody, for listening. Now, I'm I'm kind of impressed by Tendermint's technology. It's, it's a second place. 
Dan was just talking about EOS yesterday at sub one second transaction speeds. So I'm just going to tell people EOS is also going to be a, it's going to be a giant. And I'll also just use Whale Tank real quick, something that I normally don't plug, but at EOSTalk.io and utilizing the tokens, the upvote tokens. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to start making it so you can only use our upvote tokens on EOS Talk and other associated forums. And what I want to do with this is I want to make it so we can use them as guilds and make it so the forums are the place where you you build your community, right? And we can actually pass, we're going to use share bits to pass out tokens. So you'll be able to actually have your token whitelisted eventually so you can pass it out to people on the forums. So I want you guys to really all consider what you're doing in all your projects and how we can leverage them and EOS talk, EOS talk. Because there's a lot of ways that if we are creative, we can create a hell of a lot of synergies that just kind of like amplify value to a point where we just don't even know what to do because we just create so much value, we make a lot of money and we can't stop it. And if we do it the right way, that's that's what we can do, right? So I just want to let everybody know to keep thinking about that. You're, it's, it's a journey into cryptocurrency for all of us. But if, if you're asking those questions to yourselves, we're, we're going somewhere forward and we're, we're helping ourselves. Yeah, thank you, Apple Crisp. Apple Crisp is an amazing person. I will give it to him. He helps and never asks for anything in return. Yeah, I second that. Now, with that said, I want to just go ahead and say... I appreciate everybody. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next topic, though, because I don't. I, I did want to plug that really quick and let everybody know what's going on, but it's kind of important that I just kind of plug that occasionally. But the next person up is going to be Natella, and he's going to be talking about Descent and some updates on that front. So if you want to uh, go ahead and step up, Natella, you've been kind of talking and asking a lot of the questions today for anybody who's listening in on any of the other segments after the fact but i do want to say i appreciate everything you're doing because you're doing a lot of other stuff like transcribing behind the scenes before i ask you to step up and give your updates so i'll go ahead and um, talk you through some updates so uh, everybody should know that i was uh, looking for a place to store our long-term content right so uh, maybe videos or music and we have seen dtube uh, enormous success and he is um, he's done terrific work and but uh, there's like other chains like purity and what i found out like descent and their naming is really terrible it's like decent right not descent uh decent so i've been uh trying to get them to talk with us like uh, right now but uh, they're like a little slow uh, they're quite busy uh, as well so i had a quick telephone conversation with uh, one of the guys and I posted this on uh, on Steemit, and although uh, they said like, oh, we want to first like have uh, our uh, our PR department look at it, I just went ahead and I thought like, there's no time. I mean, and I was thinking, well, uh, I'm trying to be honest and uh, all will work out. But I was like pretty wrong uh, because I got a nasty phone call like 11 o'clock and that was like not nice, but uh, people are stressed out. So I can imagine that, I mean, like, yeah, we had a deal, so uh, I I made a mistake there. But anyway, um, it's it's, it's like a a tough road because uh, on one hand, you want to create clarity and uh, I'm not on any side. Uh, I just want to create better things and but not be bound by some some people who think like I might spread some bad uh, fear and doubt uh, thought you know so uh, that's that's the, that's the last thing I would do ever you know but anyway so uh, I hope if they're listening that that you know we are an open community and everything should be said uh, out loud in order to to clean up any misunderstandings between us and uh, if you're aware of issues you might have, then, you know, somebody might chip in and say, hey, I can do that for you. Or, uh, you know, or at least there's no uh, hidden issues which can get blown up. But yeah, anyway, I can also understand that uh, people want to control their uh, their PR. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope they will get on the whale tank next week. So I will do my best to be on time <laughs> to really 
how do you say, point to them, uh, saying like, hey, I come up and uh, do something uh, to, uh, to, to be online. And yeah, <laughs> we'll toss them some tokens. I think they have enough, uh, enough money. But in the, in the beginning, they were very open for cooperating. And after uh, this little mess up, uh, I think like there was this guy was like new and he, he didn't have a title yet. You know, all that sort of, but I know the mentality because it's close to the Czech Republic. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, he was scared that he, he might get on the line, uh, his ass on the line or something. And uh, I understand that. I mean, but like, it's a different mentality. And I think like the blockchain should be really like open. And, and I mean, that's why you build a blockchain, right? So uh, to uh, go ahead, I've also been uh, working with uh, some transcripts. This I do to get like more attention. But uh, even if I post them uh, on my blog, then uh, I don't get <laughs> much feedback. So I'm just like letting you know, think about what you what you really would like to see pointed out, and and maybe take on the work yourself if you want to have more exposure. I will open up for questions uh in a few minutes but just to make clear that uh it's a lot of work uh even though youtube uh, gets really so much right uh it's better than human almost uh, it's still a lot of work and there are some things technical things which i could improve but but uh, it's still like for 50 minutes of talks it, it takes like an hour or, or more to just make sentences uh, punctuation and say uh, type out who's who and who said what so if you want to have your project listed then uh, you should maybe i should like ask some uh, i will write a blog post and uh, ask people to vote or, or something like that i i have to think about how to how to manage that but anyway i got very thanks very very much for the thousand beyond uh, beyond bits they're very helpful i will uh, have to use them for my computer which is going bad uh, the battery is like that uh, like really <laughs> so unreliable and uh, some some things like that uh, a fan and uh, so then i can uh, for a year or something i uh, still use its old macbook air a trusty uh, trusty beast yeah i uh, thank you it's like i have like a very low income right now because i have been uh, quite ill and i had like issues and i really don't want to work um like 40 hours it, it's it's too much for me my brother he has uh, multiple sclerosis and we have some issues in our family so i just want to like keep it low and work like community work. The, the money is not so, so important, the, the, but that like have at least a little, a little bit more, that's very helpful. And I can uh, work whenever I can and want, so that, that's a definite, a definite plus. So let's move on to, let's see, how much time do I have left? You have seven minutes and I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm very glad, I'm very glad. And I will say also that you've earned every bit of it because I know how hard whatever you're doing is <laughs> because I've had to do a lot of editing myself, but you actually are, are using some tools that have, I'm, I'm sure a pretty large learning curve on them. Well, for me, it's, I'm always like ahead of things and, and thinking uh, that, that, that stuff should be possible when they're actually not. Uh, but, with that being said, um, I need to, I was looking into, um, have, have something else than YouTube to host uh, these files because uh, some people are not comfortable being on YouTube uh, for one, like precise. And, but I didn't get in touch with him anymore, uh, unfortunately, but uh, I was like looking at, it seems CM Steam here, uh, custom miner. Uh, he's not here right now. Okay, but uh, I was looking at uh, Gridcoin. Maybe they could host uh, some of the machine learning tools because YouTube, um, and by the way, I, I cannot find what YouTube is using to get the speech to text. If anybody knows, then uh, I mean, I've been looking for like, quite a while, but Google has so many projects, it's, it's difficult to find out uh, which, is, which is the best. So, but I was thinking like having the, these projects on Gridcoin so that uh, everybody can actually edit their own uh, their own uh, talks because yeah because uh, a lot of the time i don't know exactly what they're saying right <laughs> so i do my best but uh, it's also because to earn to earn like the the money i think i should like uh, get as much exp exposure uh, but on the other hand i get very little feedback so i have to think what is who is going to get some some sort of like a lineup what you're doing here Ozzy, with uh, who's going to be first 
I have to do something, I think, uh, to, to do that because I don't, I, I never got uh, beyond uh, like three or two, five uh, uh, speakers that like, I, I think I never got five, five speakers in, in one week. And I mean, if then when the next week is, is, is going on, it's, it's like kind of stupid to, to still be uh, transcribing uh, talks from last week. So, yeah, I, I really appreciate some community feedback on that. What do you mean as far as, is it too much work? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, so 50 minutes uh, of, of talking is like just to edit the YouTube uh, automatic captions. It takes me like more than an hour. Uh, it takes me usually like uh, at least an hour and a half or two hours, uh, even when I optimize that I have some shortcuts, which will write official fuzzy says this, Sir lunch says de- this. And uh, yeah, so, so the thing is, I not so good at like working like eight hours straight or something. So that's that's sure. my problem. Yeah. But um, what I wanted to say is that if people like, please contact me if you want your stuff transcribed. So uh, so in order we can have uh, like who, who's going to be first and who's want to have the most exposure, who's going to talk next week again. So uh, I will get him first, like things like that. Uh, Oh, so are you wanting to try to like sell the service? Oh, not necessarily. I, I just think uh, I do this because I want to get more exposure and more clarity for people uh, like myself. Uh, when I listen to these talks and it gets long, you, you just forget key issues. And I've learned that when I transcribe things, then it gets really clear. But people like I, I first like to want to know like what kind of effect does it have, and if people want it in the first place, then they should like put the money where their mouth is, and not by a mouth, but more like uh, let me know uh, in you know the comments. What? Can I really quickly give you one piece of feedback? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if Africa's listening right now. Maybe he's online, but he's definitely recording. But he records these, and he's the one who posts them to SoundCloud. Right. Maybe Steam Power Picks and you and Africa could work together and maybe make a little bit of money and share. Some uh, you're of breaking it. up, but we are already working together. I usually use uh, Steam Power Picks uh, output, and then uh, it should be like lots, lots quicker. But I'm also thinking, like uh, with Steam Power Picks, that uh, yeah, I give Nutella the clear audios. But the thing is, when you do uh, the YouTube, is actually pretty good. So I was thinking, like maybe I could first whoever can first put them through YouTube, and uh, a lot of people uh, will say things like, "Oh, and then I think I will," or "No, I, I will say rather this." And then it will continue with the sentence, right? So if you see that on paper or like on, on screen, then you can actually, maybe you could much quicker edit the audio and because people uh, are not sure what they're going to say and then they will make sentence constrictions like, uh, uh, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then they will realize what they want to say and they will say it. So there's a lot of noise, like, uh, which I'm not sure, like, because if you're working with audio, then you see a waveform, you don't see any text. So uh, maybe the, a better way would be first to uh, make text out of it and then edit the audio. Uh, but like I, we can agree with with Steam Power Picks to, uh, on on a on a good process. But what's more important is that people chip in and uh, maybe uh, take take some of their uh, uh, part they want to have like first for their community or communicate with me that I, I can do it for them. You know, that's no problem. But uh, it's it's like I said, it's 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 quite a bit of work, and for me, it's I'm not a kind of guy who likes to do all the the same stuff all the time. I'm like uh, all the, always ahead of technology and trying to improve things. So you know, I've, I'm happy to part with some some beyond bits to to help you out, and and I think there are uh, a lot of people who who can who can benefit too from from the money. So yeah, it's open to a discussion or or a consensus. Well, we're at the 15 minute mark, however, but I will say that I appreciate everything you're doing, man. And I see all of this as kind of like iterations as we're preparing for the big game and we're building the tools in the background. We're, you know, I, I'm finding people who connect up like puzzle pieces and they're doing it themselves. I'm, I'm trying to get people to do it, but it's actually. The, the ones that I don't try to get together seem to be stronger. So it's, it's like I shouldn't force the issue. They just emerge. And that's what you guys are all doing. 
So I'm glad to see what you're doing. And I'll say this, maybe the best thing for you, if you're not wanting to do it uh, on your own, is to just show, like, make a video of how to how to do it to show people and then try to, you know, set them up with something where they're start where, where you can actually like consult with them and help them a little bit and teach them a little bit if they have if they have other questions and maybe you get a cut of it or something like that but at the same time you could also work with africa potentially and make quite decent money because i think that he's in a pretty good spot for getting up votes and he makes some pretty high quality stuff for us yeah that's great the thing is that i maybe it's a steam steam issue but uh i i really would like to see some more feedback. So guys, <laughs> you know, um, I think it's important to know, like, is it helping or not? You know, it, because it's it's quite a lot of work uh, on itself, but it's not so much, I cannot do it. I, sure, I can do it, but it's more like, hmm, where's the feedback and, and stuff like that, so. I hear you, man, I hear you. So uh, w w with that said, I will just quickly say, uh, I'm looking into machine learning and I will uh, have some solutions for, uh, to maybe crunch it on Gridcoin. And also, so people can have access to, because when I upload it to my YouTube, I mean, that's my account, right? So I don't even want to use YouTube, but it's just the quickest way. So, but uh, feel free to uh, uh, to message me uh, on uh, like my email is 336915 at protonmail.com. I will write it in the comments, like right here in Mumble and, you know, and get in touch with me. Uh, I will make definitely a video and for the future uh, about decent and stuff uh, i'll keep you posted next week and be sure to look at uh, other solutions uh, wh which can like uh, monetize our content uh, like hard work uh, i mean like these transcripts we can do it like this but but maybe in the future we can have like jobs and stuff like that so uh, looking forward to that and those smart contracts on parity sounds good man well thank you very much for everything you do and i will try my best to enable you because if you're making it easier on everything on everybody else it just makes sense for me to try to help you and i'll also say that i'm very interested in creating synergy with these projects so if you guys see ways of creating synergy with these projects or utilizing these people and paying them it's it's very worth it if it's somebody who you can trust that's how we build value in this space so with that said thank you chief master who is going to be finishing us off for this day you're going to be giving some updates on points and what's up in the whole ecosystem for you hey buddy yeah just a couple updates for everybody it's probably gonna be i'm gonna come back next week not for the beat battle league but this is probably the sure, last sure. one for uh, points until october 2nd around then um but we're looking right now at listing at bit shares on october 2nd and then working our way into an ethereum erc20 token at the right time we're looking at roughly three months and then building our own chain at the same time um, but obviously that takes uh, an extra investment, so we're waiting for that. We're working right now, the biggest thing right now is the white paper. Um, so we're working on that. If, you, what we're, if you're unfamiliar with Points, Points' uh, mission is gamifying life through cryptocurrency. And the main, I guess, abstract is Points is a cross-platform cryptocurrency that will be used by individuals, businesses, profits, video games, and social media platforms to gamify life. Gamifying life helps remove fear that stops us humans from progressing. The goal with points is to get rid of that fear and introduce the world to cryptocurrency with points. So um, the white paper hopefully will be done uh, by October 2nd, but we're working on it. We came up with a, a pretty unique value proposition with these points. And the one thing we've noticed is like, what are you going to be able to use these points for? And we're kind of wanting to make it a worldly thing. So what we're going to do is you actually will be able to redeem these points for items goods um, less than ten dollars we're working on a list of goods and services available in mexico and india uh, because those would be the two major countries we're looking at besides america so we're coming up with a list of uh, items probably within 50 items right now under ten dollars that people will be able to use these points to purchase it and obviously we're not be able to uh, we're not brick and mortar store we don't have inventory but what we'll do is we, until I guess we get up to that point, if that's what we want to do, is we just will be accepting the orders via our website um, and then just exchanging it, kind of acting as a third party middleman and buying the goods and shipping them, or I mean, having them ship it. So that would be the value prop for points is you can actually exchange it 
for goods and services. Um, they're going to be small, but at least uh, I know in India there's a, a lot of a big problem with uh, women's health, feminine health, getting products and stuff like that, and also in Venezuela, like condoms and stuff like that. So those would be something that would be available to get with points. Points would be, you know, you can do um, one thing. We're now the one partner we signed up with is Develop Pods. They fight homelessness through um, shelters and building them through shipping containers. Projects in Millersburg, Ohio. Um, they're just finishing the design phase and we'll be building soon. And we'll be using the uh, points to kind of incentivize the homeless um, that live there to improve their lives. So, you know, if they go to work look, every day, you get points. If you do self improvement projects, you get points. Uh, if you do yoga, you know, att attend the sessions or whatever, you get points. It kind of just, and so if you, you know, you can e either exchange that for goods and services or say if you want to watch TV for an extra hour or something, you can exchange the points. Or if they want to use the internet a little longer, you can exchange it for points. But yeah, that's what we're kind of going you know, like to try to explain everything nice and visually pleasing in the white paper. Because a lot of the white papers we've been looking at are kind of just all words. So ours will be a little bit different, more structured like a business plan with more visually pleasing. So hopefully that will, <laughs> exactly, hopefully that will uh, help alleviate any problems, any, any concerns with anybody. But yeah, I just want to kind of open up for questions, if anybody has any questions. I do see the the potential value in, in it. I, I just wonder how, like, do you, you're going to start out with, with something in the U.S., right? But then you're looking in these other countries. Well, um, one thing, person that I personally have been working with, and uh, he, uh, we're kind of working to bring him on officially, is Ride of Passion. So he's obviously building his own sh the chain and website for uh, voice shares. So this will be part of that. So it would be just the timeline will be integrated with his timeline. Um, so that's why we can, I think we'll be able to do that. But if there's that's what we're that's what we're I guess we'll be evaluating. But that's. It seems like that's what we're looking for. Yeah, exactly. So you guys are going to try to make it so you earn them at the same time. Yeah. Uh, well, and what he he said that he was going to uh, offer to tie it points to voice shares whenever we list it. Um, so the the goal is uh, uh, depression. Fighting depression is a huge thing for me, and also homelessness. But so the goal is just to help voice shares get as big as possible, and also uh, points as well. And how is how do you see those two work working together? We're working on and I think that by the time the white paper comes out it'll all be fi uh, finalized gotcha, but gotcha. we were we were actually gonna work on it this week but he was in the hospital and his dad's in the hospital and I've been fighting some health issues too so it's not really been a good physical week sounds good I understand man Pepperino, you had a question yeah one thing that lately has kind of struck me about the gamification of life and such is you're kind of I don't want to say like pigeonholing you kind of end up like on rails as to how you live your life, like almost in the same respect as like those, uh, like, Hey, buy your shampoo from us and stuff. And you'll save like a lot of money, but it's like off brand shampoo. And like, you have to get your friends to buy the shampoo too. And then like, I don't know. I don't... Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, the, sorry. yeah the, our main goal is, uh, yeah, we don't really, <laughs> money's just a tool. We can give a fuck. We can care less about money. Uh, you just need to build stuff, uh, but yeah, we're definitely. It would be all the best products and people. It obviously be try to be sourced by local people, um, kind of like an Etsy, but just for local people. Because in India, there's a hard problem getting small businesses online. That's why Google and Microsoft are investing heavy in trying to get them online. So uh, I know obviously this is all a work in progress, and it'll be, I think, more finely tuned once we release the white paper in a month. Cool. But I appreciate your concern because we hate that too. Yeah, man. I. It's just it just kind of hit me. I was just like, wait a minute though, because <laughs> you can end yeah, up. Exactly. Uh, and that's yeah, one kinda, thing. Kinda. The ten dollars is, I guess, is more because in America we think of like ten dollars as being uh, cheap or whatever. But over there, it might be you know it's kind of expensive. So uh, we we just want to. You're right. We want to make sure all the quality is safe and good quality. On that same respect, how, what determines what each activity is worth? That's a good question. I would imagine the sponsors. I, the only way that I see it working personally is that businesses have you ever seen the ted talk where this guy is talking about someday you'll wake up and you'll go and you'll brush your teeth and your and your toothbrush will go oh congratulations you brushed your teeth for 60 seconds you just earned you know 30 30 points from from colgate who knows that you bought their toothpaste and it also powered you up because it doubled the amount of points that it gave you 
and I don't think it was points, but it doubled the amount because you bought their toothbrush and used their toothpaste. And then you go and you get your Wheaties box and your Wheaties box gives you like Wheaties points for looking at the at the box and at the advertisement side of the box and having it facing you kind of like, you know, like with uh, similar to how BAT function, basic attention token. It, well, that's exactly where they're trying to go with these things. Right. And, and it's like and it's it's a cool idea. But then at the same time, you can see. Kind of like what Pepperino is talking dangerous, about. Yeah. Well, but and the, yeah. the goal is this, this is kind of like a you know long picture you know goal. Um, but obviously, when by offering these goods and services for exchange, um, that's how we get these big people signed up oh, for the course oh, program, and that's why we kind of want to be able to just buy these goods from these these companies, and then if they're good companies, and eventually we will share drop them uh, points, and if they hold on to those points, it will pay for the rewards program in itself. So it's we're offering them a chance to not yeah, only reward yeah. their people, but pay for the program for, by itself by just holding on to the points as an investment. So we're giving them a chance to pay for the rewards program, do it the right way, and uh, reward the people that you know use their services. Um, so it seems like a win-win, but it's just going to take a lot of time to prove it, and it's all going to be in stages, um, which is fine. It's going to be. A, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be working on this for the rest of my life. So I'm not worried about it. Is it, have you con- is it similar to Burger King uh, and their coin in any way? Because it sounds like a rewards program that is tied to the value of the company, or is this? I don't know. It's points in a in an earlier form, we were working on it called was called a followers reward program. So it's always been kind of a based off rewards program. I am actually I'm, I'm unfamiliar with the Burger King one, but thank you for bringing that up. I'll have to take take a look at it. Um, but it's always been a way to reward people for you know loyalty. Um, because you know they're giving these points away, might as well actually tie it to cryptocurrency. But we will see. Oh, we're kind of working on everything. You know, it'll be fine tuning. As, as, as a big project, it takes time, but we're excited about it. Well, we got about four minutes. So real quick, while you're gi- while we're giving you a second to figure it out, I just want to really quick ask you because Pepperino brought up when you bring up these kinds of points, it's like that black mirror. You know, technology has the double edged sword. Is a double edged sword, right? And have you thought about reaching out to instead of maybe reaching out to some of the biggest companies, reaching out to some of the biggest, like really highly ethical companies that everybody uses that might everybody might that offers something that everybody uses that's that's better or better for them, maybe like non GMO type of things? Yeah, that's that's well, those are the ones we're actually we want to go for all of them. We don't want to reward the other com- companies because we don't uh, <laughs> We, we, we kind of see them as the opposite. Uh, we rather not help the big lead companies. We rather help the people doing it the right way. Um, so that's the, those are the companies and nonprofits that we want to partner with. Or people I got to call you out. Didn't you say you're looking at Exxon last week? Yeah, and that's uh, – well, I mean, we're just – as I said, I I think that um, well, everything – we have to evaluate everything. But I'm still waiting back from a message from her. So, you know, that takes time. They're just not a, uh, a reputable company, that's all. Yeah, and that's – with the voice shares aspect to it, um, eventually, you know, these people are good people. They just been programmed a certain way, so that not people aren't bad people. They just need some maybe some introduction to doing the right thing through this way, and it's also in their best financial interest. So I really, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from, and um, we, but we can't discredit anybody really, especially when we're trying to help the whole world. All right, I mean, I'll leave it at that, but you just contradict yourself pretty hard. Well, I'm not really. I'm just trying to help everybody. That's, I mean, Exxon Mobil is not bad people. They help the environment. And I have a buddy who, you know, everybody thinks Halliburton's bad, but he's working with Halliburton right now. And it seems like they're helping people too. It's just, we got to figure out all these people are not bad. So, but we want to help the ethically local people know, first. No. People aren't bad. Corporations are bad. Corporations that seek mm-hmm. profit because they do something that destroys an environment. And at the same time, they try to squash competition that, yes, takes their market share away, but does it in a more economical way, like solar panels. That's not, a, not good a good corporation. But people control the corporation, which is cool. So if you change those people, you change the corporation. Yeah, That's so true. let's not go too far like this kind of conspiracy thing, right? So, but what about those companies with those loyalty points? Uh, can you could you approach them? But we could make an own blockchain for them. Yeah, and that's a really good, and that's what we're kind of waiting for. Right of Passions uh, website and chain, and um, this this proof of concept where we can accept uh, cryptocurrency for goods and services and just drop ship it. Because um, right now you can just order you can order custom T-shirts and they'll just drop ship it for you. Why can't we just set up an interface 
front end where we accepted and it looks it's points and voice shares or beyond bits and they, they pay with it and all we're doing is just placing the order for them you know uh, for what's great for uh homeless people is should be coins which can only be exchanged for healthy food for example yes and that's exactly oh, ideally it would be even them gardening themselves they can just cool. set up their own marketplace of the garden that they do themselves and sell it there because a lot of these places have a lot of land they can set up gardens and stuff like that um, so that's a great thank you for saying that. Even better, even better, yeah. Uh, quickly, I remembered you were saying something about rewarding like the homeless or something about that we're going to work every day, and with that one, I think we might be treating the symptom, not the problem. Uh, the same respect with the real world, there's just no jobs, so I think we might be wanting to look at. Like you're saying, with the employers, uh, people that like create like actual jobs and things like that instead of like uh, all these temporary works and stuff. Like I was born in Alberta, and there's they do this weird thing where they'll have like a weird hiring thing, and then they'll lay off like three hundred thousand people because there's no work actually. They just wanted to get the thing done quickly, so they pump the crap out of it, and then everybody's jobless, and then they do a you know, changing of the guards of like the power of the premier or whatever. And then everybody blames that political party and there's still no jobs. I don't know. We got to re reward people that are putting out like actual jobs that exist. And then I think we might end up with like an actual list of like how many jobs there actually are to do in the world. And somehow put in the blockchain, like Nutella said, it's great that you have it in the blockchain. So you get actually proof that you bought it. And in a lot of these countries, um, it's hard to have identities. That's why the blockchain is being used as an identity. So what better way to have all the products and services and all the things you did? It's on the blockchain, so it is dangerous, you're right. But if you're not doing anything bad, it's not. And that's actually why I encourage the discussion as long as it doesn't get out of hand. You know what I mean? Because it's, a, it's an important discussion to have. And, and it's as all technology from the time of, you know, tribes grabbing fire that was that came from trees where lightning just struck, you know? And, and holding on to it. They would use it for good things and also to burn down villages. So ever since that, we, I mean, we every type of technology is a force multiplier. What kind of force are you going to put behind it, right? And, and, it, and it requires us being honest about it as we move forward through the tech because it. what's sad to me in the space, to be honest with you, is that I can go out and see a number of different tech uh, of of media channels that talk about cryptocurrency, but they never talk about the dangers of it. And they and, and it's as though not talking about the dangers of it is being a good thing. And and it's not popular to talk about the dangers of how we can go wrong with it too, right? So uh, I'm glad that you answer your questions and, and that you're interested in doing what you're doing, man. And, and it's an experiment, but we should always be very cognizant of how we use the technology that's for dang sure but i i appreciate you joining up man and kind of getting in stepping into the gladiators arena every week and and taking questions because persistence is how you get it done man but thank you very much for joining up chief and how do people get in touch with you guys or get in touch with you if they want to behind the scenes uh, thank you for saying that and thank you for hosting this. This is awesome. And as you said, you can't really see, find this anywhere in crypto, which is nuts. Um, but it's nuts, it's, nuts. I can't believe it. It's really, you could take this to college campuses, everything. It's really going to be great. But um, uh, just at Chief Mapster on Discord and also on uh, Gmail and Steam as well. I'll put, it, I'll put it in the message. But I'm usually on, so just send me a message and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Well, thank you everyone for joining the hangouts that started BitShares led to Steam where Steam was announced and now where Whale Shares and EOS Talk is now going to be starting to emerge along with something called ShareBits in the very near future. We have a lot of cool things that are going on and it's people like you who've backed me and been here who've made it possible. So I do appreciate the people who join up to these things. We're trying our best, and it takes a lot longer sometimes than you want it to, but we get there persistently, and as the roots grow out, it's a lot harder to shake that damn tree, no matter how big the storm is. We got a big one coming in, so let's work all together and build things so um, we get through those storms. Thank you for everybody who joined up this week. 
Thank you for everybody who listens. Please share all the content and do what you can do to make this content better and to help yourself in the process. That reputation is also a very valuable thing in addition to just posting content and making money. It offers a lot of opportunities and this space is rich, full of opportunities with things that might give you a lot of resources someday to build your dreams. Let's just say that. Now with that said, we'll see you guys next week and let's go ahead and start the after party. You've been listening to the Beyond Bitcoin Well Tank. As a reminder, be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steemit, as well as our Hangout host, Official Fuzzy, for the latest Well Tank updates. From all of us here at the Beyond Bitcoin Well Tank, we want to thank you for being a part of the discussion. <laughs>